What did you see? That you definitely weren't supposed to see. One time I was up late at night scrolling Facebook at the same time as my drunk and high off Zonix married mother who was an entire time zone away at the time. She was messaging an old fling from high school while her husband was away at work and was sending him close up pictures of her vagina. How I know this is because she didn't send them via messenger. She posted them on her actual Facebook page. I had to call her in the middle of the night in her zonked out stupor to get her password to delete pictures of vagina off her own Facebook page. About 5 years old woke up to the snow finally starting to melt. Notice a girl asleep in the garden. Went and told my dad. He took one look and told me to go play in my room. Turns out girl had been asleep in our front garden for about 2 weeks buried and frozen under the snow. Ok follow up on this. I did not know she was dead until I was about 16. When I mentioned it to my dad remember that girl asleep in the garden. Dad she was dead you idiot. As far as I know she was like late teens early 20s. We lived in a pretty rough area. Lots of drugs etc. She had probably been out partying, sat on our garden wall and passed out. I do not know exact cause of death or toxicology report. That is really sad. One of my best friends died that way. He had had one too many and sat outside to get some fresh air. Air was so fresh he went into hypothermia and died on the front steps of the building. Just like that. R.I.P. Marcus. Do not let drunk high friends out by themselves when the element can kill you. I had a friend disappear from the nightclub on a ferry from Stockholm to Helsinki in late December. I searched the common areas at that time of night not many open. I dreaded going out on the very windy and icy deck. Worried I'd find him frozen or signs he went overboard. Went back to our room again. This time he was there asleep. No idea where he'd been to this day. Was fixing an elderly neighbor's laptop that had nudes of his wife on the desktop with the thumbnails at maximum size. It's like he wanted me to see them. I will say though. She had a banging bod for a woman in her 70s. I think it's safe to say he thought the same. I had a tree house in my backyard. The neighbors behind us had a pool. I was 12 their daughters were 18 and had their boyfriends over. They end up jumping topless into the pool while I was chilling in the treehouse reading. I went on a road trip with my grandma when I was 15. My mom let me borrow her suitcase. Pretty sure she forgot that she had stashed an envelope of very dirty photos of her and my stepfather. About a dozen. In various acts. With various people and objects. My grandma walked in as I discovered them and I was in a panic fearing she might ask to see the photos I was looking at. Thankfully my aunt distracted her and I was able to hide them away in the pocket where I did found them. It was quite an awakening. I absolutely know how your mom felt if she ever realized what she had left in the suitcase. See below for reference. My hubby and I had to live with my mom and stepdad for about 2 months while waiting for our new place to be ready. Just before we moved we had cleaned up our room and had a big garbage bag of trash. We had also decided to condense our DVD collection 50 plus DVD into a big CD DVD organizer sleeve case. We threw all the plastic DVD cases away in the garbage bag and hauled it to the outside garbage. My stepdad was a videographer pro cameraman freelance and for news stations. About 3 weeks before our move we got one of those cloner willy kits where you can mold a replica of your own. Well, willy. We were home alone. So we decided to go ahead and make the mold. Needed water so we locked ourselves in the bathroom. We get to the point of no return. Water and stirring hubby has just placed his willy in the concoction and I was putting on a show to help him stay at attention. We hear the garage door open. Hubby is trying to stay focused. We hear my mom call my name. I answered we were getting out of the shower. She comes to the bathroom door, knocks on it and asks what are you doing? Well of course this stress and my mom's voice totally ruined the mood. So we ended up with a clone of hubby's partially erect member. More of a cloner chub. This was also tossed into the garbage bag from our room before we moved. A few days later my stepdad calls me because he was wondering if we realized we threw DVD cases away. I said we did on purpose and he told me he was going to dig them out and save them since he could use them for freelance things to give to clients when he was done. I told him to go for it. My stepdad was known for going 
threw garbage people threw away to make sure no one threw away anything that could be recycled. So it wasn't too surprising he saw the DVD cases. I made a comment about stepdad picking through garbage later to my husband, and I told him about the DVD cases. That's when hubby's eyes got wide. It took me a moment to realize why he reacted that way. We both just start laughing knowing stepdad is probably going to find the clone of my hubby's chub. It's far better to laugh at moments like these. We still laugh about it to this day. We rarely get to tell this story. Definitely need the right audience. When I was still married. My then wife had left her phone on to run to the bathroom while I was in bed. I looked at it for the time and found it was left open to a secret mail account she was using for sending literally hundreds of nudes back and forth between many many dudes. For years. Up to that night, while she was fully 6 months pregnant. Mostly original stuff too. I think that hurt more. The night I learned my ex GF was cheating. She just got up from the couch to kill a bug and left her phone face up on the couch with snapchat open. The chat had a picture of her boobs and some sexting replies from the guy. My heart dropped down to my butt. Man. Cheetahs suck. I remember with my ex we had started to turn things around after a rocky patch in our relationship. And she left the laptop I got her next to me while she went to the store. I ended up checking her messages while she was gone. And my heart just hit the floor. She had messaged multiple guys and sent many nudes she had sent to me to other guys. The one that ducks me up mentally to this day though was the message from her best friend. Why don't you just leave him? He's so good to you. You know he doesn't deserve this. And her reply was someone's gotta pay my cell phone bill. What was ironic was the messages all changed about a week before I read them. She had been messaging all the guys and saying I can't do this anymore. It was a mistake. Blah blah blah. Cuz things had been. Better apparently. I still broke up with her. Because I knew I'd be an insecure act the rest of the relationship. If I stayed with her. Haven't even had the same confidence since. Cheaters do ducking suck. I caught an ex cheating on me. And broke up with her. Only to find out that there were multiple guys involved. And everyone knew about it including my two best friends and even my own brother. No one ever said a word to me about it. Really does duck with your head bad being hit with that realization. Sorry you had to go through it too. Saw a man crash his motorcycle into the back of a parked car. He flipped over the car hitting his head on the pavement and dying on scene. Firefighters showed up and sprayed his brains and blood down the storm drain. Later found out it was a girl's father who I went to middle school with. I was 12 was working on a school project with some kid, opened a folder, where I thought we saved some of the videos for the project. It was nothing but his dad's bestiality porn. I will never forget the look on that kid's face. His parents got a divorce like month later, and he moved away. When I was 13 ish, I went into our computer room just in time to finish seeing my dad send an email that said I love you and some other stuff to a woman that was not my mom. He tried to cover my eyes and act like he was joking around. I promptly left and went back a while later. I tried getting in his email, but he had changed the password. We all knew it because his email was used to log into a lot of stuff by the family I never told my mom. A few years later, he divorced my mom and she asked me for help getting proof of him cheating from the laptop he had also used. I found graphic Craigslist messages that he had sent and received. Just gonna add a sa here to parents. Do not ducking. Ask your child to do this. Take it to a goddamn PC shop and save your child the emotional and mental scars. Same thing kinda. My dad was pretty open about his laptop anyone could use at any time which is weird considering. I was using it to sign up for sats and found some ladies nudes downloaded and mls over a span of 5 years with a lady the same one I'm guessing talking about trips to see each other. Money exchanged and you say you love me type convos. I took pics and showed my brother but never told my mom. They ended up getting divorced a couple years later anyways and she knows he cheated but I don't know if she knows to what extent. Neither of them know we know though. A collection of child porn and bestiality images from the dark web that someone was trying to publish as a book on Amazon. I think the owner thought that if they did not include any sexual keywords in the book metadata, the reviewers would not notice it. Eater I used to lead work on the book review team 
Reminds me of the time I found my step grandpa's porn collection. It was all blonde preteen girls. I was a blonde preteen girl and I've never noped out of anywhere so fast. Also we found a giant bag of toenail clippings and shaved hair from himself that he'd been collecting for years. He's been dead since 2006 and he still gives me the creeps when I think about it. My mom's phone got a notification while it was charging. Curious. I just checked to see what it was. It was a text message from some guy saying I'm going to have your pussy for breakfast. I've never checked her phone since. My mother would have me answer her phone when she was busy sometimes while I was growing up at the time. My mother was dating this guy and he called her regularly. Well one time I answered and he thought it was my mother. Most awkward few moments of my life happened with him saying all kinds of stuff not meant for a child's ears and then I politely told him I would go get my mom now. After work one night, my buddy wants to have some beers and play some video games. I ended up getting done before him. So he tells me to grab a case and go to his house and his dad will let me in. So I stop at the beer store and head over. I get to his house and before I get a chance to knock, I can hear people having sex. It was so ridiculously over the top. I thought it was his dad watching porn. I could hear the woman saying stupid shit like duck my ass with your huge cock. Just screaming. The dude was like yeah, take it baby. Bluey. It was hilarious. Anyway, I figured his dad was watching porn. So instead of knocking, I waited in my car for a bit. My buddy shows up and asks what I'm waiting for. I told him I think his dad is jerking off in the living room because I can hear the porn. He is like FFS. So we go in expecting his dad to quickly jump up and pretend he was watching hockey or something. But nope. His dad was giving some lady a professional ducking. Guy had his hat on backwards and still had his boots and socks on. No pants. Laughing like. Did you take your pants off and put your boots back on? WTF is even that. Anyway. She ended up being an escort. His dad was embarrassed. We were all embarrassed. But it was funny. In my high school Spanish class. Our teacher had taped VHS a telenovela for us to watch. When she put the VHS tape in, there was about 25 seconds of other porno that played. A topless woman moaning. Out of a class of around 30 kids, only about 5 of us looked around at each other and locked eyes with a did anyone else just ducking see that. Look, our teacher must have taped over an old porno VHS of hers. I was at a work related retreat for a week and ended up sharing a room with a guy from a different site. It was my first time meeting him. But we hit it off pretty well from the get go. The last night I was there, I walked into our room and found him in bed with one of my male coworkers. Without missing a beat, I did a 180 and walked out the door without saying a word. As I was walking away, my coworker angrily whispered, I thought you said you did not have a roommate. For some reason, my roommate thought I was going to leave a night early, but that did not happen. Ended up spending a couple of hours at the main cabin chatting with some folks so they could have their fun. I do not work there anymore. But I remember every time I would run into said co-worker, he would always try to avoid chatting with me. I definitely did not care if he was sleeping around. But, in retrospect, it was probably more embarrassing for him than it was for me. I was hiking in a forest with some friends. And as we continued on the trail, the mound of rocks on our right side opened up to more forest. Myself and one of my friends were leading the other two by a couple of yards. And we both briefly saw a couple having doggy style sex several hundred feet into the forest on that right side. My friend and I gave each other that did you see that shit too. Look, by the time my other friends caught up the couple had split and we could not see them anymore. It was like 2pm in broad daylight off of main road. Which was the weirdest part. When I was a kid somehow a digital camera appeared in my house. At the time I did not know where it had come from. But it was there. Once I was lurking around and saw it on the shelf. So I took it and started taking pictures. But my pics were bad so as I started to view them to erase them. I realized it had more pictures. So I keep watching them. Today I learned I saw one of my sister on her knees. Sucking dick. 
Later I found out that the camera was a gift to her from an older guy she meet online. I just stopped thinking about it and never looked back. Just erased that memory from my mind. Until now I guess. In high school I found a document on my dad's computer that was basically a diary of his massive crush on another woman. I do not know why I opened it and it felt really bad, but he probably should not have kept it on a computer he let me use. It was weird, but I never told anyone and tried not to think about it. My parents are still together and they seem mostly happy. My grandparents were both a bit deaf. I was downstairs prepping dinner and called out to them. No response. I placed their plates on a tray instead and walked upstairs to their room. Their door half open. Saw my fully naked grandma riding my fully naked grandpa like they have no aches and pains. It is weird. Like normally they do everything in slow mo. Apparently not. I was 16 and was returning home after giving my neighbor a ride to her piano lesson. A ahead of me was a pickup truck loaded with sheet rock wall board. It was piled up so that it was higher than the cab of the truck. There was a family driving it. Dad and mom and two little kids were in the cab of the truck. The oldest daughter 10 years old was given the honor or task of riding on top of the sheet rock to hold it down. I watched as the wind picked up the sheet rock and she had a flying carpet for a few seconds before she slammed into the asphalt in front of me. I was able to stop before I hit her. I was the first to get to her. Blood was everywhere. She was blowing it out of her nose and mouth trying to breath. Blood was coming out of her ears. A nurse was the second to come up. She told me to hold her head straight and talk softly to her. Her parents were obviously hysterical. By the time I got back in the car I was covered in her blood face, neck, shoulders, hands and the summer dress I had on. I was able to drive home. My friend and I both in shock. I tried to get in the house without anyone seeing me as I looked like the accident victim. I walked past my mom to go to the shower and ask my friend to tell her what happened. But my mom was so shocked by what she saw that she followed me. I got in the shower with my bloody clothes on to try to get the stains out. I will never forget that day. I should not have seen that tragedy. I watched the newspapers for several days this was way before home computers. Cell phone and mandatory child safety seats. She died after several days days in the hospital. That's how I found out her age and that she had two younger siblings. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing for more videos.